Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're gonna draw a hard box of chocolates. So let's get started. With this box of chocolates, we're gonna first start by drawing the heart. So about right here, I'm gonna give myself a point. And this is gonna be the center of my heart. And I'm gonna go straight down to about how big I want my box to be. So let's say about right here, straight down and give myself another point. And so this is just to help me see where my center of my heart is so that when I draw this side, it'd be a little bit easier for me to gauge the other side. It's just a little tip. So I'm gonna come here and draw my heart. So I'm gonna go up. Nice round heart. Keep going all the way. And coming back down here. nice full heart. So now to try to draw the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across and I know this is my top. I'm going to come across and just kind of give myself a little point. So I kind of know that's where my highest point is on this side and try to draw the other side. And always remember it's not going to be perfect so don't worry about it at all if it's not. Just as long as it's not too lopsided it'll be It'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> so I'm going to come about right here. Nice round heart. And start to bring it here. So that's why these points are um, a little bit more helpful. So at least you know where to kind of go. So I keep coming all the way down. So there. Fix this part right here a little bit. Okay, so there, now I got this heart in. So now the trick is to make this look like a box, we're gonna come in and draw the same thing, but just smaller. So we're gonna give ourselves a tiny little, um, little border. So we're just gonna go exactly the same thing and just copy what we drew at the top. So I'm just going to go around, all the way around. So this just gives us the edge of our heart box. So same thing on this side. And it is a little bit muddled up because I'm drawing as small as I can because if I make it any bigger, it gets harder and harder for me to do this freehand. So <laughs> sorry if my hand looks like a gigantic hand right now. But there, that's our goal right here. We're just giving ourselves a little border on this heart. And then the awesome part here is now we're gonna create this box. So come right here in the center. We're gonna draw a straight line down. This is a really cool part. So just draw a straight line down and we're gonna bring in this curve. We're gonna come here and as if we're gonna be following this, we're gonna go up following our curve and we're gonna taper it in like that. So same thing the other side. So just kind of taper at the same spot on the other side. So go up once again and bring it in and taper it off. So now it looks like you're looking inside of the box. And so now for this part right here, come down. It's the same thing, straight line down once again. And we're going to come towards the edge right here where your fattest point, your fattest point on your heart, come right here and come straight down with a line. And we're going to curve it in all the way down. So following our outline, we're going to come right here and draw our edge of the box on the outside. So just make sure this part right here is slightly straight before you start to curve. So same thing on this side. The fattest part right here, I'm going to come straight down and start to come in. So to right there, 
And so it gets a little bit thicker as it comes out. And come in. So there. <laughs> so now you can see it's as if you're looking into the box. This is the outside edge and then this is the inside edge. So now that we have our box in, now we can fill this um, box full of chocolates. So um, I'm just going to be coming in here and drawing all these different shapes of chocolates. And I'm going to start right here in the center and um, whatever shape you want, um, just make sure you kind of know that you're, you're limited to this space right here. So um, I'm going to start right here with a circle piece of chocolate. So it kind of gets tricky on how to place all these pieces of chocolates without wasting too much room. So um, I'm going to put one round piece here. I'm going to imagine my chocolates in this kind of grid area. So I'm going to come about right here and draw a circular one. So like I said, whatever you want. And a square one here just to fill up my spaces. I'm going to be nice and round on the corners. And an oval one right here. So even though it looks kind of random, it's still kind of in this grid. So just to make it a little bit easier. So this one's going to be a heart one. And I'm going to come in here and fill up this space with a nice long one. Just a nice long bar of chocolate. And once again, the edges are going to be soft. And let's see here, one more right here in this corner. So a circular one, whatever shape you want. And just to make it easier, let's do a triangle. So nice and soft edges. So there, I basically filled it up. <laughs> it's not realistic because, um, but this is just an easier way to put it in, uh, put in chocolate to make it look like a box of chocolates. Because realistically, you would be drawing it, and it just, uh, it's just going to be too much pro uh, work and problems with all the perspective. So hopefully, um, this will make it a lot easier for you guys to draw. And so from there. Um, before I finish this off, because um, I'm going to be switching to a, a thinner pen um, Sharpie, <laughs> I want to go ahead and draw the outside box first. So an option is you can draw the lid. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw another heart. So I'm going to, it's going to be about the same size, of course, because it's the lid. <laughs> so I'm going to give myself a little point here and I'm going to come about right here. Just draw this big heart. So about right here. So this is optional if you want to give your box a lid. And just come down. Doesn't have to be exact at all. It's just to, just to um, add some more to this box of chocolates. <laughs> and I'm going to come here and draw a little bow for it. So about right here. Draw a little circle and I'm going to start to draw the loops for my bow. And thank you, Draw So Cute fans, for helping me <laughs> know what to say when I draw bows now. You guys are just the best fans. So these are the loops I've learned because you guys taught me. And so then I'm going to come in here and draw a curve just to give it its um, dimension so you can see as if you're looking inside to the bow and come in here and just draw a little curve. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Please pause the video if I am. I just don't want this video to take forever. <laughs> so here I'm going to draw the bow that um, ties it to the box. So I'm just drawing at a curve just to give this box some volume. And I'm going to draw some ribbons right here. This is the ribbon part or you call it the tail as I've learned. And maybe one more here. And another one. So there. <laughs> Extra fancy bow. Okay, so now to finish off this box of chocolates. I'm going to um, come in here 
and switch to a thinner Sharpie. So this is a ultra fine point Sharpie. And it's just because it's a small drawing. I don't want to go in there and muddle over my thicker Sharpie. That's why I'm using this. So I'm just going to come in here to make it look like chocolate that's in those wrappers. On around each piece of chocolate, just go around it like this with these curves. So this one kind of looks like the sun. <laughs> but you just want to go around each shape just like this. So this is just a simplified way of making it look like chocolate in those little wrappers inside those box of chocolates. So this was definitely a challenge for me to draw this, to try to figure a way to help you guys draw a box of chocolates and make it easy. And so I hope you guys like how it turned out. So it can just be really random. It doesn't matter at all. So, but you just want to put this all around it, around each shape. And I was so tempted to um, put eyes on these pieces of chocolate, <laughs> but I said, no, <laughs> let's just make it a little bit more realistic this time. But if you want it, you could put faces on them. And um, okay, so I'm going to decorate this one here with a heart. So I'm going to Put my heart at an angle just to change it up a little bit and then maybe another one inside. And so this is the part where you have lots of fun how everyone you decorate your chocolate. So this one's gonna say love. So I'm kind of like a cursive. And let's see, this one's gonna have a swirl. Can't wait to see your box of chocolates and what you guys come up with. But I definitely just hope that I made it really easy for you guys to um, finally be able to draw a nice box of chocolates for somebody or for yourself. So that one maybe has, so like I said, it's all up to you how you want to decorate your um, chocolate. So this one, I'm just going to leave it maybe as a foil. So just give it some color and let's see here. Let's fancy this one up with um, those twirls. Woo, something like that. <laughs> and so when you color it, um, it'll all come to life. So I will show you when I color it. That's about it for a box of chocolates. I hope I made it easy for you guys to follow once again. And thank you so much for watching. If you love my box of chocolates, please give me a thumbs up and a share. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.